really childhood professionals are very thankful that there are interpreters available to facilitate conversations with children and their families. Professionals working within the field of early childhood education want to help children be successful learners in school. If developmental concerns are noted, within children, schools have special services available for extra support. As an interpreter, you may be asked to interpret for a home visit, meeting, conference, screening, or evaluation test. The time of day and length of service needed will vary depending on the interpreting activity. It is very helpful to have a pre-meeting with the educator before to completing the interpreting event. Talking with the professional for five minutes before the event will help everyone understand the purpose and expectations of the particular event. As an interpreter within an early childhood setting, professionals would encourage you to be our voice within the conversation. Please share what professionals and parents say. If there is a question or need for clarification, be willing to ask for an explanation. This is not an appropriate time to add personal opinions into the conversation. If you are asked to interpret for a screening or evaluation test with a student, please keep in mind that tests are designed to obtain information about a child's knowledge and skills through a formalized process. In order to keep the information as valid as possible, remember to repeat the professional's directions to the child, as well as the child's response. If you are asked to complete an interpreting service and are not comfortable working with a particular child or family, please share this information with a professional and they will work to find another interpreter. There are a variety of reasons an interpreter may be used within early childhood special education. This video will highlight the four parts of the process, including referral, intake, testing, and evaluation results meeting. The first step to service is a referral. School staff may contact an interpreter upon referral of information. When a family member, friend, daycare provider, or physician has a developmental concern about a child, they can make a referral to early childhood special education. When referral information is received by a service coordinator within the school district, the family's primary language will be listed. This is a time in which an interpreter may be asked to contact a family. If you are asked to contact a family, Following the referral, the interpreter will most likely be the first contact the family receives about this concern. The service coordinator will ask the interpreter to verify that the initial information is correct and schedule an intake interview. As an interpreter, the parent will ask you questions about who called me and why was I called. And at that time, you have to explain that you have been called by so-and-so from that department regarding your child. And they are worried about your child. Either may have difficulty in speech or success or have difficulty in behavior. And you have to explain that to the parent. The second step to service is an intake interview. The purpose of an intake interview will be to gather additional information in order to help determine if further evaluations or educational assessments are appropriate. As an interpreter from there, the parent will either say yes, I agree to it, or they will say no, I don't agree. And you have to explain to them that it is, they have the right to say yes or no. The third step to service includes testing. If further evaluations are recommended and parents are in agreement, a series of test appointments would be completed in order to determine eligibility for special education service. Prior to testing to occur, parents are given permission for evaluation, which is a document that includes evaluation recommendations. Along with the permission, parents are given their rights 
also known as the procedural safeguards. During the needs, or depending on the needs of the student, the evaluation types will differ. The team membership may consist of a variety of personnel, including early childhood special educators, audiologists, occupational therapists, physical therapists, speech language therapists, teachers for the visually or hearing impaired, social workers, or school psychologists. From there, the parents may pull out of the evaluation in the middle of the testing, and the cause is the following. The, the terminology may be difficult to understand, or the, there will be a cultural sensitivity questions that will arise from the evaluation. They may, they may worry that their child may be considered not normal, and also they may worry about things other people have told them. The fourth step to service includes the evaluation results meeting. Following the individual testing, an evaluation results meeting will occur to determine eligibility for special education service. Based on the results, a student may meet eligibility criteria within a certain category. Some categories may include developmental delay, autism spectrum disorder, or emotional behavior disorder. If a student is determined eligible for special education service, a discussion about an individualized plan will occur. The name of the plan is determined based on the age of the student. An individualized family service plan is written for a student between birth through two years of age. An individualized education program is written for a student who is over three years of age. When a plan is written, a student's present developmental skills are discussed. Teachers and the student's family will also discuss goals, services, and service providers working with the student to meet the proposed goals. After a child is determined eligible for service and a plan is in place, service implementation can begin. As an interpreter, once the Bambi Road of evaluation is done, the fourth part, Go smoothly. The parent will agree to the outcome whether their child qualifies or not. Although you may not be a part of every step of this process, it's important to understand the whole process and how each piece fits together to help a child achieve success. Being an interpreter is an important profession. Remember to behave professionally, which includes, number one, be on time, which includes be a few minutes early to talk with the professional. Number two, remember to say exactly what the professional or parent is saying. This is not a time to add comments or opinions. And number three, confidentiality. It is a very important in early childhood services to never share any information with others unless there is a parent permission. We really appreciate that interpreting for early childhood special education is not an easy task. Thank you for all you do.